I'm Evan Leroy and this is New School Barbecue. Leroy and Lewis Barbecue is a little blue food truck off South Congress in Austin, Texas that cooks locally sourced barbecue on homemade pits. We try our best to honor where barbecue comes from while respectfully adding our own modern touches. These are our recipes, methods, travels, and stories. This is New School Barbecue. Hey barbecue fans, Evan Leroy here. In this video, we are making our cauliflower burnt ends. Now this is one of our most popular dishes. It was featured in the Eater video, uh, the Smoke Point video, like Brad mentions in this video. Uh, they're really, really tasty. The only main difference now is that we don't make this harissa paste anymore. We just use our mustard sauce on them instead of this harissa paste. This was a really kind of like onion, garlic, salty, kind of forward, chili, coriander, cumin, you know, all those ingredients really kind of mingling together, making a really pungent uh, kind of sauce, harissa, kind of faux harissa, not a real harissa sauce for this cauliflower. But now we use our mustard sauce, which is sweet, tangy, mustardy. Uh, so the flavor profile has definitely changed, but the technique is gonna be exactly the same. You see Brad cut the cauliflower, you see him kind of pull the leaves off, then we're going to bathe them in our mustard sauce, then we're going to smoke them. We don't do them on the direct pit though anymore, we do them at the commissary on the red pit, the indirect pit, and then they will get portioned out per day for service. And then at the truck, we will coat them again in mustard sauce and then grill them before service. We also don't quite take them as far with the char. I would say we're usually looking for a dark, deep brown and just a touch of black on them, where these are a little bit too crispy, chef, at uh, certain points. So that's it, that's our cauliflower burn ends. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, subscribe to our Patreon for sure. New videos there every Sunday, new videos here every Wednesday. Come visit us at the truck, buy our sauces online, and I'll see you next week, barbecue fans. <laughs>
because we're essentially making a sauce and these raw, these raw onions add a really nice kick that can survive the uh, double cooking process that you'll see later on. So I'm gonna start out with that because that's pretty full. We're gonna throw it in this Vitamix high powered blender and we're gonna break them down. I'm also gonna throw a little bit of water in there just to help things break down. Now we're gonna add about 500 grams or another quart's worth of uh, garlic that we're just gonna purify in with the onions. Oh, oh Jesus, oh, I made a mess. All right, now that we've got our onion and garlic pureed into this here tub, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, which include about four cups of gochugaru, which is uh, Korean chili flakes. Good color, pretty mild in flavor, add a little kick. Another 400 grams or about three cups of kosher salt. This is coriander, about two cups, maybe 200 grams, and some, and some cumin, maybe about a cup and a half of that. We're gonna throw that all into the mix. We already added four cups of water into the puree. We're gonna add another four cups right now for a half gallon total water in this here recipe. And now we're gonna bust out the emulsion blender and start adding in our oil, much like the Caesar from last week. All right, this is starting to get some really good color, mostly from those uh, Korean chili flakes. Now we're gonna turn on the emulsion blender and uh, drizzle in one gallon of canola oil. And that's gonna give this sauce a really nice sheen and all this oil is gonna really help when we uh, put it on the coals later on. So, let's go. All right, and that is our harissa paste that we're gonna rub all over the cauliflower. This stuff is intense. Oh, woo. Very salty. Very powerful because there's a lot of raw garlic, a lot of raw onion, but because we're going to do a double cook on this and there's really not all that much that's going to like penetrate into the cauliflower, starting out with something that's very intense is the way to go. So uh, now I'm going to rub it down. So it's really not much to it. Just uh, you dip it in or grab some with your gloved hand and Rub it all over, give it a nice little massage. And that's all we're looking for, just a really nice coat of all of those wonderful flavors on the outside of this cauliflower before we throw them on the smoker to get even more of that wonderful smoke flavor, building layers of flavor at every step of the way. So this will uh, soak in this marinade overnight, then it'll go onto the smoker, onto the chud box actually. But now I hand you over to Evan. Good morning, Evan. Good morning, Bradley. Uh, you're probably still asleep, but the cauliflower looks good, trimmed up nice, cut that nice clean bottom off of it. Got harissa made, got it rubbed down. Uh, we're just gonna go take a look at the pit, take a look at the chud box, and uh, we're gonna talk about the coals and shoveling stuff under the chud box. And yeah, we're just gonna go take a look. So we're here on the smoker. Uh, I've got the offset pit very full of food. I'm going to show you guys what's on here. So we've got uh, a bunch of beef cheeks, a bunch of ribs, pork ribs wrapped up for some people coming by for an industry thing. We've got some pork loins in the back and some sausage. And as you can see, just a bunch of beef cheeks. Then over here, Couple pork steaks throwing down. We got some shoulders, and then we've got our cauliflower over here, all ready and rubbed and ready to get some smoke. I'm gonna throw some coals right under here. So we've got our fire here. It's mostly broken down. What we're gonna do is try to kind of beat it down separate these bigger logs from the fresh charcoal and we're going to take the 
all these coals, all these nice glowing coals, we're going to shovel it right underneath the chud box. We can see I've taken a lot of coals out of there. It's mostly just those uh, full logs now burning. And then you can see how much smoke we've already got coming up. We got a nice even layer of coals down here. We're just gonna start cooking. Yeah, baby. Say goodnight. I did want to say just a couple quick things about the cauliflower bird ends, why we call them that, what the idea was behind it. Uh, we saw a lot of people doing roasted cauliflower, whole heads of cauliflower, uh, and we wanted to put our own spin on it, do a barbecue thing, but also kind of find that Venn diagram and see, you know, what is, uh, you know, some way that we can treat a vegetable like meat and we can kind of use the same methods that we use for barbecue on a vegetable cauliflower burn ends. So we cook it twice. Uh, we rub it and cook it twice. That's kind of why we call it burnt ends. We also burn the tips of it, so burnt ends, that's kind of the idea too. Uh, yeah, the process is just rub the whole head, smoke it direct, then it uh, gets cooled down, rub the whole head again, and then we grill it over direct fire. It's going to get nice and charred. It's going to be cooked on the inside. It's going to be super smoky and extra, extra, extra satisfying. Okay, we are back here in the smokehouse. We've got all these cauliflowers that were cooled off. We've got just a little bit of the rest of our harissa here. Poured up and rubbed down. I'm going to rub this. We're going to go put it on the coals. All right, I got all these rubbed up. I'm going to put a couple of them on. I'm going to put the rest of them on. Alright, it might be a little bit hard to see because of the smoke and the sunlight, but we've got the fire back there. We've got our cauliflower and our grill grate. I've just pulled a bunch of coals kind of right up front. And we're just grilling these guys away. I've got about six on here. There we go. It's been five minutes. Let's check these guys out. Ooh. Nice and charred like that. That's exactly what we want. That's why they're called cauliflower burnt ends. Sometimes you can grab the grate itself and pull it back a little. At least another five minutes. Right, it's been five minutes on the other side. We're getting some good color, but it's not perfect yet. I'm just gonna try to rotate them, kind of back toward the fire a little bit more. See that side's got the nice color. Back that way. Back that way. Hot. Yeah. We'll rotate. These will come off in just a minute. All right, I'm going to take these back ones off here. Look at that. That is exactly what we want. Gorgeous. All right, uh, real quick, just want to show the difference between the cooked, finished cauliflower burnt ends and then the ones that are about to be charred. So you can see quite a difference. Awesome. This looks great. So I'm just going to start with it upside down and make just four really easy cuts around the stem. One, two, three, four, and then one just kind of on the top. And then that either goes in your compost pile or your stock pot or whatever. And these are your beautiful cauliflower burnt ends. We'll put them up in a little uh, boat like this. Want to keep the nice burnt end piece facing out. 
And there we go, that's our barbecue vegetables, that's our cauliflower burnt ends. Boom.